So I've got a bit of a confession to make. I'm not much of a cook. And that being said, I'm actually doing something for the first time that I have never done before. So I got this slow cooker for like 50 bucks or so. And I actually used it one time. One time, that's all I did. I got it specifically to make some slow cooker chicken noodle soup. But right now I have a, I have a, a roast cooking. I've never made a roast before. I've never made a roast in a slow cooker or in a broiler or however else people make roasts. I've never done it. And I just kind of felt like using the slow cooker because, wow, that got bright really quick. I kind of just felt like using the slow cooker because, well, one, I have it and don't do anything with it. It was literally just collecting dust on the top shelf of that little white shelving unit that's sitting right in front of my kitchen door. And two, I kind of wanted to learn something new. So I figured that would be an easy way to start because I don't have to do much. I just cut up a bunch of potatoes and carrots and an onion and threw some garlic salt in there, got a two pound roast, chucked it all in there, poured some beef broth over it and I called it a day. So I'm learning something new and I'm getting to use that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep you guys posted on how that turns out. I really, I don't feel like it's gonna be so good. Um, I mean, it's got another, I think, like, three and a half hours, three hours, 40 minutes or so, based on the clock. But, there's something that I would like to try. And, uh, earlier today, let me actually pull it up here. I'm sorry. I just need to, un momento. I was scrolling on Facebook while I was at work. And what I had found is a post that says, while women are scamming these faithful men, dipping a pregnancy test in apple juice will turn it positive. You're welcome, fellas. These birds are getting smart. Save a brother's life today. And it's accompanied with a picture of this, which is a pregnancy test and some apple juice. <clears throat> I'm not sure if there's any... Can you find my face? Hi. I'm not sure if there's any truth behind this. But I feel like instead of just looking it up, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna get a cheap pregnancy test, and I'm gonna get the exact same one in this picture, and I'm gonna try to find that same brand of apple juice, and I'm gonna test this for myself. We're gonna see if we can't get a positive pregnancy test based off of apple juice. I don't see the brand that there should have been that they used in the Facebook ting. So I think just something with 100% apple juice, right? Let's get some good stuff so I can drink it afterwards. <laughs> Possibly. Do you want apple juice? Nope, I don't like it really. Okay. I don't like apple juice too much either. Let's just get something cheap then. <laughs> There's 248, 248, $1.97. I like the looks of that. Yep. Great value apple juice. Now to go find a pregnancy test. Alright, I have returned home. We have. I just hit myself in the eye with the apple juice. I have gotten the exact same pregnancy test that they showed on the Facebook post, as well as first signal. It's a, uh, a really cheap pregnancy test. It was 88 cents. And then I also got a Butterfinger Reese McFlurry, not Butterfinger, it's a Reese McFlurry. So this is unrelated, but it's delicious and I wanted to brag. So I'm gonna test this out. I've never taken a pregnancy test before, so I'm eager to find out if I'm if I'm pregnant or not. Don't really know how to do it. Suppose there's instructions for that purpose. I'm gonna take these. I will report my findings in like 20 seconds. But also, my girlfriend and I, we <laughs> we ate the roast and it was delicious. It was like the best dinner I've had in a long time. <laughs> it was awesome. I don't know what lucky nugget I found wherever but it was very very good and I'm super pleased I just wish it didn't take four hours to do such a thing 
Alright, so the uh, first response actually came with two tests and the 88 cent one surprise came with one. And one thing I would like to mention is that they really did bogus with the 88 cent test. The instructions were all in Spanish. Like, even the box was in Spanish. I didn't notice it at the store, but the only Spanish test that they had apparently was an 88 cent test. I feel like that's kind of ridiculous to have it be that cheap. But we got our asshole juice and... For the first response, it says that you have to dip it for five seconds and then wait three minutes. And for the, whatever this one was called, home pregnancy test device, which I'm sure that's not the name of it, but that one said it comes with like a, a dropper and you use three drops into the little tray and then uh, wait three to four minutes. So we've got four minutes and a three minutes, which, give me a little dropper. <laughs> science! Not science. Piss science! Not real piss. It's fine, guys. I'm not playing with piss on my counter. What is this? Do not eat. Oh, silica gel. Boom! Yeah, so we got this guy. And, hey, dude, do the focus job. Focus. Focus. Do it. Do it. Okay. So right there is where I, uh put the drops and then two lines on either of them means pregnant one line on either of them means not pregnant so these two need five seconds boom and dip one two three bow five good to go i can set these guys down i don't want them dripping apple juice all over my counters so we're gonna set them right there and now we got this guy do, 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 do. Focus. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. And one. And a two. And a three. Right down into the little suck guy here with an S next to it. So now we will wait for these uh, three and four minute tests and figure out if we're pregnant or not. I don't think we will be. I don't think we will. We have done the test. We have... Focus. Focus. We have not pregnant. Not pregnant. And not pregnant. We have busted this little myth. You cannot get pregnant with apple juice. Alright, so for those of you that did not know, Jackie actually moved to a new house. And she just texted me and asked me like if I wanted to come over, blah 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 blah. And I have plans tonight, so I told her I couldn't. And then she responded with that she was just like a little bit lonely. And like I can tell she's bummed out. So I have maybe like an hour and a half before my plans, so I'm actually going to head over and uh, check out her new place, because I have been over there, but not since she moved in, like I was in there to help clean stuff up a little bit, but I haven't actually seen it since she moved in, so I'm gonna head over there, and I'm going to take her a delicious treat from my workplace, and we're gonna see what exactly is going on. Hey. So that just happened. Um, that was not even 30 seconds after I put the camera down. Like I actually saw that guy pull out as I was putting my camera down and shutting it off and everything. And um, apparently I have no front license plate, which I knew about because my front bracket came off. And um, apparently also, I have this cool thing where my, my license has been expired for three months. I had no idea. They stopped sending out the little notifications and everything in the mail. Like, you don't get those anymore in the United States. I don't know how they do it in other countries. But they completely got rid of that to save money. So I had no idea that I was even expired or close to expired. So I'm going to have to go down and do that tomorrow. Good thing I actually work right in front of the uh, DMV. 
so I can just run down there while I'm at work or something and take care of that. But this is just, this is my luck, you know? I just, I can't get away from police no matter what I do. I have no idea why. They're just attracted to me. I mean, thankfully he gave me a warning not to take it. But still, the fact that I got pulled over anyway when I'm I'm short on time trying to rush to Jackie's house is just kind of... It's a big bummer. We here! She lives on a little farm area her family oh I dropped my wallet her family um, owns this farm and they they rent out like all the fields and everything let me grab her trees here you can hop out this mob she uh she has this beautiful farm like hold on let me try to boom okay okay look at this Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, her neighbors are all family. So they actually own like this whole area. Mm. I hope she didn't lock the door. Living on a farm all along. You were lonely. I was. Damn. Are you lonely? Oh my god. This storm is insane right now. Oh my god. That is so kick ass. Oh, it's like right there, too. The whole thing is like right there. The sky is turning red. You can't tell from the camera, but it's like bright red right now. Holy crap. Oh, I love it so much. Storms are by far my favorite thing. Oh, wow. That added a bunch of flicker to this, didn't it? Oh, man. Okay, I should probably go inside. Yeah, yeah, I'm going inside. Well, I'm back home now. Um, I, I hung out with her probably about two hours or so, something like that. It's kind of boring over at her house right now because she doesn't have TV or radio or anything like that over there. She's just barely moving in, so she doesn't have anything set up. It's even like uh, I didn't bother recording over there with her because she doesn't really have the best lighting in her house yet either. She doesn't have quite the lamps that she would need. Um, she just has like these really old, really uh, warm colored lights. So I didn't try doing any of that there, but I'm home. I am on my computer. I just got this started up as well as this guy here on my lap. And I'm getting ready to start pulling this stuff off of my cameras and start getting to editing. Try to get this up to you tomorrow, which will be the 19th. And uh, I have to use my laptop for it now because with, with the new case, that guy, it only has the, the two drive bays in the front and then... Um, I had, I had the, uh, I guess that doesn't matter. That's not where I was going with that. That has nothing to do with it. I don't know why I brought that up. I'm tired, okay? I've slept probably about four hours the past six days in a row. But, um, my motherboard only has three USB headers on it. And that leaves me with, like, the I.O. panel on the top, my fan controller, and my LED RGB controller. So I don't really have room to include this guy. I had to pull him out. That is my uh, my card reader. I had to pull that out. Don't have room for it anymore. So now I have to use the card reader on my laptop and then send it over the internet to my computer from here, which is actually relatively quick once I 
put it up to, I'm sorry, that's bad framing, once I put it up to the Ethernet cord and everything. So it gets done, but this is just the roundabout way I gotta do it. But I'm gonna get to it, so thank you guys so very, very much for watching. You know, I love and appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you guys in the next one.